right. Paid 50 cents for this. Now I listed it high because mine was the only one with the box and complete. Sold for full asking price of $450 after about a month listed. <laughs> Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos that sold in June. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and I invoid invited, I invited everybody to share their best big money bolo. So let's talk about those bolos and see what we should be looking for when we are out at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, wherever you source. Let's look for these big money bolos. This one comes from a uh, Bolo Buddies member. This is a new member. So if you guys um, are following everybody that I talk about, I will pop up a screenshot of his YouTube channel and he will also be linked down below in the description. And I'm a resell it. I think that's how you pronounce his YouTube channel. I'm a resell it. And I kind of like it. Uh, it it's it's catchy. I'm a resell it. I bought this from a flea market in Thailand and he actually has videos where he's in Thailand sourcing. It's super cool. Go check it out. Um, he said, I bought this from a flea market in Thailand. It's new out of the package. I paid 200 BAHT, which is $6 USD. It sold for full asking price of $99 within 48 hours. It's an official Slenderton BMR flex muscle remote control controller and charger. So he is sourcing in Thailand. How crazy is that? Check it out. Go sub him up. Um, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Let's see. Glassy baby found at the Goodwill paid $2.99 listed on eBay for $175 plus shipping and got full price with positive feedback. And Original pink glassy baby, glassy baby drinker candle holder with paper sold for 175 And this is what it looks like. Bolo Buddies member, Ohio Treasure Hunters. And this is his eBay store. I bought this at a yard sale for a dollar. At the end of the day, I was shocked it was still there. Sold on auction for 151 plus shipping to an international buyer. The two different patent numbers are there because the mouthpiece had patent 19, or I'm sorry, 1892, and the stand was 1904. Huh. And this is what it looks like. Here's another one from Ohio Treasure Hunters. He got this at a yard sale for five bucks, sold in less than a week for full asking price of $139.99. It is a new Eris surfboard cable modem. I have no idea. A cable mobile. Mo, cable, blah, blah, blah. A cable mo dumb. I wonder why it's called surfboard. Hmm. It's probably like everybody that knows about like technology and stuff are like, it's called that because. Sorry, guys. I don't know. Um, here's another one from Ohio Treasure Hunters. I bought this at a yard sale for $2. Took around a month to sell, but I got full asking price of $149.99 plus shipping. It is a Neopets Legends of the Neopia Scorchio, Scorchio Warrior action figure sealed from 2004. And this is what it looks like. Neopets are great. Um, I just sold a little Neopets figure. So it was about this big, but mine was just a bread and butter, but it wasn't in the original packaging. Um, I also recently sold a Neopets plush so be on the lookout. This one comes from It's All Goods 94. And she is on Whatnot also. And I will link her eBay store down below. Found at the local Goodwill for $9.99. And it was half off color, so paid $5. Got the item home and found out it contained two complete sets in one box. Score! First one sold for a best offer of 80 plus shipping and still have one currently listed. Only took less than a month to sell once I finally listed it. Bolo for vintage Fisher Price flip a track sets or vehicles. They can be a bolo. And this is what it looks like here. I snatched up this ornament at an estate sale hoping it might be good. I believe I've seen Disneyland monorail items as bolos and was hoping it would translate to the Universal Studios tram. 
After much research, I still couldn't find any solds or listings for it. I decided to list high and let it fly. I listed it for 100. There wasn't much action on it for a while. This weekend, I ran a half off to Christmas half off sale. And Saturday night, I got my cha-ching. I paid 15 for two boxes of books and an Ikea bag of stuff at the sale. So I'm only into it pennies. This is what it looks like. It's a Christmas tree ornament and it's sold for 50 bucks. Paid $20 at a local thrift store, joined a Catherine's Collection doll Facebook group and posted the frog looking for info. Someone gave me knowledge about the frog and several others I had found at the same thrift store. They offered to buy my frog for $250 and told me to go back to buy the other dolls. Went back, bought two more for $160 and sold these two within 24 hours for $550. Catherine's collection dolls are definitely a bolo. Wow. I would love to see, um, I would love to see what the tag looks like on that. That is interesting. Catherine's collection with a K. Catherine's with a K. All right. I shared this one in a plush video, but I'm going to share it again here. Uh, regarding Putter the Popple. Uh, got it at a yard sale for $1 and sold it with free shipping for $37. Yeah, popples are great. If you can find them, definitely look them up. This bolo was purchased at an unadvertised garage sale, ran by an Amish family, paid $1.50 for the lot and sold it for $55. It's really small, guys. Six vintage metal pin flower spike frogs flower arrangement holders round these are cool. Uh, 55 bucks there. My June Bolo is two vintage aluminum beach chairs bought at a church sale, paid a dollar each, and had them listed for about three weeks. Sold for full asking price of $99. I paid shipping of $13.66. I get large discounts in shipping through my husband's job. Profit will be about $70. So they're vintage beach chairs. There you have it. Not fun to ship. Here's another one. I wanted to get this bolo in the May videos, but put it in the wrong site. Paid 50 cents for this 1976 uh, to me water ring toss game at an estate sale. I listed it high because mine was the only one with the box and complete. Sold for full asking price of $450 after about a month listed. And the gentleman gave me great feedback. I actually sold one of these a while back. Um, Mine did not sell for that much. That is amazing. There's also a brand that is similar, but it's not the T-O-M-Y and it's not as vintage. Uh, it's more of a bread and butter, but does decent. So any of the water toss games, um, I sold one that was like a little, it was smaller. You'll see it in one of my uh, What Sold videos. And I think it had like a, a dolphin or a narwhal or something like with a nose. I can't remember. But it was a ring toss game with water. And I just emptied the water out before I shipped it. My first time sharing. Oh, this is a good one. I remember the first time I found these. I'm like, what is this? Uh, I got this for 25 cents at a yard sale. Sold in less than 24 hours. We'll be keeping a lookout for this one. Yeah, they are Betty Spaghetti Spaghetti 1990s dolls. And it looks like they sold them for 40 bucks. This is probably something I would put on auction because there's so many different variations. And I'm guessing that some of them are more harder to find than others. Paid $5 at a yard sale. Sold in a week for $240. If I knew it was a definite, the medium green, it had the potential of selling for $850 to $1,400. But I'm happy with the results. It's a vintage Fiesta Fiesta Wear Green Disc Pitcher Rare. Okay, so it looks like there's a variation of green. And there's one that sells for more than another, but maybe they're really close. So I don't know. What would you guys have done? Would you have auctioned it and just put green in the title and let the buyer decide? Oh, like held it up to white paper and maybe black paper or different colors so people could see it against things. That would be really, really hard if the colors are really close. Hmm. 
I don't know. You guys that sell Fiesta wear, let me know down in the comments. Can you guys tell if this is the rare green or if this is, I mean, either way, she did really great. She bought it for five and sold for two forty. But if it was the rare one, she could have got eight fifty to fourteen hundred. Ah, that's crazy. I'm gonna be looking for that picture. Yep. Uh, three dollars and fifty cents at the Goodwill and sold it for two twenty five. It is Go Talk thirty two plus special needs learning communication device. Huh. That's cool. I know somebody uh sold something. I want to say maybe it was Braille or something. It was in the Vero video and it was state property and it ended up getting taken down. So you got to watch for that on some of those devices. Um, they can't be a medical device. Um, before I tell you what this is, definitely check out my Vero videos. It's the complete opposite of what I normally do. I talk about bolos, items to be on the lookout for. In the Vero or policy violation videos, it's the same format. It's basically Facebook members sharing with you I, things that happened to them, things that were, were, excuse me, things that were removed from eBay for a policy violation or a Vero. And what's great about it, it's in real time, things that have happened to real resellers. It's not just a list that you go to. These are things that are currently, people are getting in trouble for. Um, and sometimes they just take your listing down, but that kind of stinks also. So it's good to know what you should not be listing. So check out, I have a whole playlist of those. Turn them on while you work. Just listen to them, even if you don't watch, um, because those words are going to stick in your head and you may, you may have something listed that you need to take down. Definitely don't want your account to get in trouble. All right. So she said, I paid $3 and 50 cents at the Goodwill for this, sold it for 120. It is a GoTalk 9 Plus Green Communicator Attainment Company communication device. So it looks like she found two separate things there. Huh, those are really interesting. And that one sold for 120. So it looks like it's like educational, right? Is it, is it to teach or is it to communicate? I'm not really sure, but it's interesting. Bought this at a flea market for a dollar. This is a Wentworth wooden puzzle. I rarely run comps for items a dollar or less that I feel are worth the risk. I figured a wooden puzzle would hold some higher value than normal ones. Went home and looked it up and saw comps 40 to 90 or so. My daughter and I had fun putting it together as it was crazy shaped pieces. After we verified all pieces were there, I took pictures and posted it. Sold it in two hours for full asking price of 75 plus shipping. Now I have to scan all the puzzles everywhere I go. Wooden puzzles, yes. Some of them can go for hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of dollars. I do have a video on puzzles. You guys can check that out. Found this at an estate sale for $12. Felt like I might be able to sell it quick. So close to 4th of July. Didn't realize till I went to list it that it was so rare. Sold in less than 30 minutes. Oh, I know, I know people will say I could have gotten more, LOL, but I'm never sure how much over the last sold comp to list as March, 2023 of 612. So McKee Milk Glass Punch Bowl, six cups, God bless America, 4th July Ultra Rare, sold for 699.99 plus shipping. So it could have been a really good timing thing on that for her. Dirty little rubber ducky with some rust. This guy sat in a box, my office for a couple of years. I'm going through my money pile this week and I ran him through a Google lens. Happily surprised with the results. I took some glamour shots and priced him at $80 with condition in mind. Sold within 20 minutes at full asking price. Wow. Vintage rubber squeaky toy, Alan J. Clara, C-L-A-R-O-Y. I'm sorry, C-L-A-R-O-L-Y-T-E, Claroit Duck, original from the 1950s. Bought at a local church thrift store for $4.99. Uh, listed for about a month, full asking price. Uh, she went into the thrift store. Her battery on her phone went bye-bye, dead, no battery. 
no charge. She went home and looked it up and went back to the store. And she ended up selling this for $65 and paid five for it. It's a rare My Little Pony Pinkie Pie plush 25th anniversary. Got this, or I'm sorry, got it at the second day of an estate sale in New Mexico. Paid $5, took a best offer of $350. It is a R.M. Williams dark brown chestnut leather 11 chestnut size 11 leather sydney olympics special edition this is what it looks like wow they're boots i don't even think he put boots in the title this one comes from bolo buddies member crazy critters and vintage collectibles and she is on facebook youtube and um, she is a Bolo Buddies member, and this is what her eBay store looks like. I purchased these two Ohio metal art shovels together for $2.99 at the Goodwill and sold them to the same buyer for $70 with a 25% off coupon. So they were all in for $67.99. They looked new, and people were moving them out of the way to look at other items on the shelves. So I thought I might as well buy them. Ohio metal art tin lithograph mermaid ocean sea shovel. It's 11 and a half inches hanging wall decor. And the other one is a, the sea, 10 sailing. And this is what they look like. And I can't remember crazy critters and vintage collectibles. She might be on whatnot. I'm not hundred percent sure. So double check. Um, if you're not on whatnot, join down below and get $15 to shop with my referral link. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. And I would love for you guys to come and hang out with me. Come and watch a live show of me selling fun stuff um, on auction and no pressure to buy you guys. No pressure to buy. Just come hang out. It's like watching a YouTube live. Okay. Only I'm selling things that I know nothing about. So it's kind of fun. You know, you get to see me mispronounce words and say, I have no idea what this is. Do you want to buy it? And people are like, yeah, I want to buy that. That's a great item. And I'm like, oh, what do I have here? Yeah, that's me on whatnot. Okay. This one comes from Jersey, Sto Jersey Shore Thrifter. A lot of estate sale companies look up items they think hold value and their prices can be ridiculously high for those items. Thanks to Courtney Bolo Buddies and this group, you can find gold nugget nuggets that always seem to be overlooked. I bought four of these new old stock writing tablets unused at an estate sale for $1. Created a quantity listing and just sold three to a buyer who paid $14.99 each plus shipping. An order total of $56.40, including shipping and volume discount. Not bad for some blank pieces of paper. There it is. It's a writing tablet. How awesome is that? I found these for just a buck at a garage sale and took a chance on them. Thank goodness for Google Photos, which is Google Lens, because I had no idea what they were and they didn't have any brand or markings. I sold them on eBay auction for 51. Keep an eye out for these tiny vintage soldiers. Mark's Army Toy Vintage World War II Tank USA Army Men hand painted by Howitzer. This one comes from the Kitchy Canson, and this is her eBay store. She's a Bolo Buddies member, so she will be linked down below. If you follow the eBay stores, what you do is you click on the heart and that's going to follow it and you'll get notifications when they send out coupons and when they list new items. So definitely follow these eBay stores that are linked down below. Bought a lot of vintage car hood ornaments and dealership emblems at my local consignment auction house. Each piece would be around $9. This 1935 Pontiac hood ornament sold in two days after listing for a best offer of $400. Wow, it's a rare 1935 Pontiac Indian Maiden car emblem ornament part. Wow, auction house, nine bucks. That is great. Here's another one. This one, same thing, $9. It's a 1931 Oldsmobile radiator cap sold in less than 12 hours after listing for $250 plus shipping. That is great. Congratulations. That is awesome. All right, you guys, we are going to stop there. 
Um, there's going to be more of these videos. So stay tuned. I love these. I love seeing all your bolos. If you guys would like to share a bolo, come on over to the Bolo Buddies Facebook group and go to the featured section. There is share your best plush bolo, share a bolo that you bought on whatnot cheap and flipped for a profit on another platform. That's a separate post and then share your monthly bolo. So whichever month it is that you come over to the group, look for that monthly post. And again, they're usually at the top under the featured section. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.